This is a 1 12th scale do-it-yourself dollhouse miniature project making imitation roll cakes for display in miniature kitchens, baking scenes, stores, or holiday sets. Materials are shown and listed in description box below. The steps may be modified for other scales like 1 6, 124, or 148 using different thicknesses of felt, fabrics, and paper. This is one way to make look-alike cinnamon chocolate, red velvet, and pumpkin roll cakes. Other ways could be made with clay, wood, or plastic. Choose colors for felt or color them with acrylic paints or permanent markers. Test the colors on scrap pieces. Color both sides of the felt and the ends. Then paint one side of the paper towel. Hang and let them dry thoroughly. I am using a purchased baking sheet, one and a half by one inches. This helps me decide on my cake roll dimensions. I cut three one and one quarter by seven eighth pieces to fit inside the baking sheet. One each of the felt, copy paper, and paper towel. Trim fuzzy fiber pieces on the edges as needed. It's optional to create a wedge trim on one side at one end of the felt piece to help with the center roll. Glue a strip along the edge as shown. Apply the copy paper layer on top of the felt. Gently curl the edge inward. Then apply glue on top of the edge of the copy paper. To make the center swirl, continue to curl the edge. Use a pin to assist as tightly as possible. Remove the pin by gently rolling it and then pulling it out. Next, glue underneath the curled center and under the paper in an even strip of glue. I do go back and make an even strip of glue, but I was having a hard time seeing around my camera. Now add the cream paper towel. Curl it tightly in a rolling motion. Curl in little sections at a time. Roll tightly and evenly. When you get toward the end, there'll be excess paper. Leave 1 8 to 1 16 inch of felt at the end. Cut the papers off. Glue the felt edge. Press and hold firmly with the glue until it sets to complete the roll. Use the pin to fluff or straighten the cream center in the roll if needed. Also trim excess felt fibers. Make more rolls by repeating the steps. The copy paper and paper towel sizes could be shorter, but a lot depends on how tightly the roll is and how thick the felt is. You could dab a little bit of white acrylic paint on top of the rolls for a powdered sugar look, or Lightly glue the top of the rolls and then sprinkle white flocking on top. Once the rolls are thoroughly dry, you can cut them into mini spiral pieces. One way would be to use a craft knife and mat. Hold the roll with the tweezers and then cut to the thickness desired. And secondly, you could cut with scissors. Again, trim dangling fiber bits and you may have to reshape the roll into a circle if needed. To make cinnamon rolls, I used a tan felt and painted brown specks on the cream insides for a cinnamon look. The miniature cake rolls can be displayed in pans, on dishes, or a dessert carousel tray like the one I made in a previous video. I hope you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.